Hello everyone, this is Debbie Henderson from Debbie's Designs. Welcome to Afternoon Tea Time in a Card. This is episode number 42. I can see some likes coming my way. So glad you're joining me today and if you're joining me later, welcome. Um, as most of you know, my videos always stay on our group page. You can go in and watch them anytime you want. So let's get started on a project for today. Hello everyone. So I am actually going to be doing three cards, but before I show you the cards, I'm going to show you a few products. I'm going to demonstrate something with one of the products and then I'll go on and uh, do the three cards. I'm using the Lots of Hearts stamp set along with the Coordinating Many Hearts dies. You can see these dies are fabulous. I have one of the hearts out that I'm going to use, but you get the scalloped one. Look at this pretty um, <clears throat> border one, has a bunch of hearts on it. And then this flowered heart die. They're so cute. There's a lot of them. There's a set of 15 actually. And then what I'm going to use to demonstrate, <clears throat> and I am losing my voice today for some reason. So if you, uh, if you hear me clear my voice, that's why. I am going to be also using the True Love designer paper. Now you'll notice that this paper is all black and white and that's what I'm going to show you a couple tips to use with the paper before I get started on my projects. So I went ahead and cut three different patterns. As again, they're all black and white. I'm gonna use this first one here. I'm gonna add color. I'm gonna show you three different ways to add color. So for this one, I'm actually gonna bring in some blending brushes. And I've got Mango Melody, Highland Heather, and Seaside Spray. So let me start out with the Seaside Spray. And I'm going to show you how quick it is to add color to these, to these designer paper sheets. I'm just going to kind of do an ombre type thing. Look how easy it is to add color with these blending brushes. You guys, I told you I was I was I never clean these, so I ended up buying one brush for every ink color. And then let me show you where I'm storing mine. And I'm really sad to say though that we no longer have the wide cases; they sold out. But I'm doing them by color. I can actually fit um, five or six in each case. So I I just am so sad that the cases are no longer available. Okay, so I've gone ahead and added Seaside Spray. And again, I'm going to put this away and I'm not even going to clean them because that's the only color I'm going to use on these brushes. The next one is Mango Melody. I'm going to do that right in the middle. And then I'm going to softly, I'm not going to press too hard. I'm going to blend with the color above it. And you'll see that it'll, it'll create a third color. So there's color number two. And my last color is Highland Heather. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna add the color and then go towards the Mango Melody and blend them together. Okay, so here I go. I'm gonna go very softly. And look how neat that is. It looks like there's five colors on this panel now, but there's really only three. So that's one way of coloring this paper. Let me go ahead and put this away and I'll go to number two. I'm gonna use this one. This time I'm gonna use my blends markers. I'm just gonna do a little bit. I'm not gonna do the whole thing, but you can see how easy it is to color with blends. Let me just do a couple of the leaves here. I'm just going to add. So this is the dark uh, mint macaron. Now I'm going to bring in the light mint macaron. I'm going to show you a close up of the shading. You'll see how pretty it is. So again, if you're just tuning in, let me just bring this back in so you can see it. This is the True Love designer paper. All black and white so you can add your own color. Okay, so there's a couple of the leaves. Like I said, I'm not going to do them all, but look how nice that looks all shaded. 
So let me do one of the flowers. Now I'm using the dark petal pink. I'm just gonna add around the petals. So I'm using the same designer paper on all three projects I'm doing today. Okay, I'm just going like under the petals where you would see a shadow. And now I'm going to do the light petal pink. I'm just going to color the rest of it. Look how quickly I've added color here. And then you could add some butterflies if you wanted to, some die cut butterflies, some sentiments. Okay, there's my flower. So I'm going to finish this up and I'll make a card with it. And then my third way of adding color is to bring in a blender pen and watercolor pencils. So all I'm going to do is add a little bit of color, just a tiny bit. And then you'll see how I'm going to spread that. So I'm going to just do a circle in the middle. I'm kind of just like scribbling. And then you just use the blender pen and spread the color. Clean off your uh, blender pen when you switch colors. And you don't even have to color the whole thing. You can leave some uh, white spaces in there, some white specks. And then something I like to do when I watercolor, let me see if I can find a light color. I'm going to bring in a yellow. I'm actually going to do just a little bit on the outside of the flower. I won't do the whole thing. I'm just tracing on the outside. And then I'm just going to blend that until it lightens right up on the, on the outside of that. So look how that looks. So you can see the yellow that I added kind of accentuates the other two colors. So that, those are my three tips using this paper. And now I'm going to go on and do the three cards for you today. And what's great about these three cards, they use the same layers. So I've got three Magenta Madness 11 by 4 and a quarter score to 5 and a half. I have three of the designer paper I just showed you, five and a quarter by four. And then let me bring in a little sliver of some goodies here. Here's one of the dies that I just showed you. I've got three pieces cut out. I have three pieces of Magenta Madness. And these measure two and a half by three and a half. So again, three of everything. I'm going to use this to do one of the hearts that we're going to cut out. Then I have the designer paper. Now, I, I, on the other side of the printed is, is usually stripes or polka dots. And this is one inch by four inches, three of those, three little white strips for the sentiment. And that's half an inch by three and a quarter. And then I have these cute little butterflies that I cut out with the die. So let me go ahead. I'm going to bring the cards in so you guys can see. Let me fold these first. So we use all the same layers, but we're going to set them up differently on each card. So you can like mass produce these because you cut out three of everything. So I'm going to start out first by gluing the designer paper. Then I'll show you the cards. And it's the polka dot on the other side. You know what? I'm going to use the polka dot this time only because I used this one on my first set. You know, there's always a, a designer paper that you're going to use and you, you it's hard to cover up the backside because it's so pretty. And I do like polka dots. So let me go ahead and glue all three of these and then I will bring the cards in to show you. So here's number two, and then here's the third one. And you guys can copy these so easy. If you just go back and watch the video and get all the measurements, I'll put them up once I'm, once I'm done too, so you'll know what size to get ready. Okay, there's my three card bases with layer number two all glued on. Let me bring the cards in. So 
So there's number one, number two. So all I did here was take the magenta manis and turned it this way. And then number three is going horizontal. But you can see they use all the same layers. So let's go ahead and start with number one. We'll start with this one. Now I did go ahead and do two of the hearts that I need, but I'm gonna do the third one with you. Let me get my die cuts out. And make sure you pay attention where I put my die cuts. If I lose them, you guys need to tell me where they are. Okay, I've got Memento Tuxedo Black ink that I'm using. And I also have the little resin hearts embellishments. And those I used right in the center of each butterfly. Isn't that cute? Okay, so let's go ahead and my stamp is quite large. When I have a large stamp, I usually flip it upside down so I can ink it this way. I seem to get less messy and less dirty this way too. Okay, now I'm going to bring in my little mini. And we're going to cut that out. Now, if you guys have purchased the little mini, I need to tell you about a tip. I try to mention this on my videos when I, when I uh, use it. You're always going to have the platform on the bottom and then the, the two cutting plates. When you are using your cutting plates, if you guys put them through, because this is so small, if you line them all up this way, it's going to have a hard time grabbing to go, to go through the machine. So what you need to do is take the middle one and stagger it like this. What happens is this will press together. You see how that moves? And it grabs easier when it goes through. So you're gonna stagger number two, about a half an inch is what I do. And then go ahead and use my little heart die cut. I'm not going to top while I do this so I can line it up. There's some washi tape. And again, I'm going to show you how I did my sandwich. So this is all ready to go through the machine. And look how I staggered that middle one. Now I can just go ahead and see how easy it grabs. Okay, so I've already got the other two cut out. So I just need to do this once. So let me bring the card back in. We're going to need one of everything. I'm going to stick with the stripe. There's the die cut and a butterfly. And then we also need a white banner. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp the sentiment. Now on the first set of cards, I used just a little note. This time I'm going to use scent with lots of heart. There's my first one. So now we can go ahead and glue everything down that we need to glue. Here's the second layer of designer paper. And I went about an inch and a half from the bottom. Then we're gonna glue the pink, no, we're gonna glue the die cut next. And all I did, because there's going to be a layer on top, I kind of just added liquid glue at the top where the scallops are. And I layered that right over the designer paper. Now, let me get, I'm gonna get my scrap just so I can press down. I made a mess there. And then I'm just gonna take my paper trim, uh, my paper snips and just snip the ends. That glue, glue uh, dries clear. It's a good thing, because I, I kind of gobbed it on there. Next, we're gonna glue the Magenta Madness. And that's gonna go about a half an inch from the right side. The heart is gonna be glued on with mini dimensionals. So even though this is a Valentine set, you can see that I use just a little note. So you can use that for any type of correspondence. 
You know what? My paper's a little bit longer. That's okay. They're all the same size anyway. I don't know what I did there. I, I measured it. I should give you the right measurement if you want to copy the first set. So it should have been two and a half by three. And I did three and a half on these. That's okay. It still works. Next, we're going to snip the sentiment. Now, for those of you that don't have the banner punch, it's very easy. You just go down the middle, make a snip, and then go on each side and meet in the middle. Go down the middle, snip, and snip. We're going to glue that with dimensionals. And that's going to go right on the bottom of the heart. And then I'm going to use mini dimensionals to glue the little butterfly in place. And those fit perfectly on there, as long as you put them in the right way. There we go. That's going to go right there. And then the last piece to this card is the little hearts. So I'm going to go ahead and glue a little heart to the middle of the butterfly. Okay, so there's card number one. Again, I went a little bit longer on the cardstock. So this one is three inches. This one is three and a half. So there's one. Now let me bring in number two. So same pieces. We got a butterfly, designer paper, a heart, magenta, a die cut, and here's my card base. Now the only difference with this one is that I took the magenta and I turned it this way. So it's going to go the long way. So we're going to go ahead and glue the designer paper first. Again, about an inch and a half. I just kind of eyeball it. If you want to be really fussy, you could always bring in the first one that you did. Oh, look how perfect. It's almost... It's almost lined up perfectly on the same spot. Okay, here we go with the die cut. Sorry if there was a little pause there. My phone rang and it interrupted you for just a second, half a second maybe. Okay, now I need to bring in my paper. Trim the ends. And this time we're going to glue the, the uh, magenta this way. Now it is a little bit longer than my first card, so it's going to cover up a little bit more than what you see there. But see, it still works. Okay, there's that. Next is the heart. So if you guys don't have this stamp set, you don't have to use a heart. You can use a flower, just anything else that you might have on hand. A punch shape, a die shape. Okay, now we need to do the sentiment again. And I'm going to cut that into a banner down the middle. Snip, snip. And down the middle snip snip and dimensionals look how quick these are you guys once everything's cut out you're using the same supplies so just slap everything right in place there's that one and a mini dimensional for my butterfly Why is the die cut upside down? Oh, I don't know. I just like the way this looks because you can see it more on the white. I don't know. I just, I'd like to be different. <laughs> I guess that's my reasoning. I like to be different. To me, it's not upside down. I know you mean, you mean putting it. Up Sorry, my phone keeps ringing, you guys. I forgot to shut it off. So I, I think, Mary, the reason I said I put it this way is because if I put it this way, it's going to cover the hearts when I glue this on. I think that's why I put them the other way. You can put them whichever way you want. I just think it looks neat this way. It just looks like a border. Okay, there's number two. So let's see. This one goes with this one, and this one goes with this one. 
And now there's number three. So this one is actually, even though it's folded the same, we're going to open this way. Now, let's see if we can find everything. I've got the heart. I've got the designer paper there. I think everything's there. And there's my glue, my adhesive. Now this time I'm going to start out to the left. And I'm going to glue my little hearts. I think I'm going to cut this one ahead of time only because I don't want to get glue on the white. Okay. So again, I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to the scallops. You see what I mean though? Like on this one, I covered, I covered the top of this. So if you had the hearts going this way, you wouldn't be able to see the hearts. I hope that makes sense. Okay, there's the third one. I just like the way it looks. Okay, here is my second layer of magenta. And I'm going to put that about, I'm going to center that about there. So see, now you can see my hearts peeking. If you had them the other way, they'd be covered totally. I think that was my reasoning. I may have done this card first and then that's why I figured I'd do it that way. Makes sense, right? Okay, this heart is gonna go right here. One more sentiment. Let's see, there's my ink. I just gotta snip one more banner. Again, down the middle. Oh, I see a lot of hearts going by. You guys like that. I think once you saw the third card, it made more sense. Okay, now dimensionals. Isn't the magenta pretty though with the black? It really pops. It's one of my favorite colors. There's my little butterfly. And then one more heart. One more heart. There we go. Look how cute that is. Just a quick way to do three cards. So let me see if I can squeeze them all in here. Let's put this one in the middle. That one, that one, and that one. And then, like I said, you guys need to experiment with the paper if you have it. Again, this was with the blending brushes. This is with uh, watercolor pencils and a blender pen. And the third one was uh, with the Stampin' Blends markers. Oh, I need to move those over. I... There we go. Okay, that's it for today, everyone. I hope to see you again next week, and I hope you enjoyed my class today. Have a good and safe week. See you soon.